Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and welcome back to part three of three, the final day here at Circuit of the Americas. If you haven't seen the first two parts, it is very crucial to kind of see the progress that we've made up till this point. Yesterday was a blast. Part two video, awesome. A lot of track time. Today is no different. We're gonna have a lot of track time. No stop box. We're just gonna be running laps, uh, getting pulled back into the grid, trying to figure out what we need to do to, uh, you know, get faster as the sessions go on without the stop box. So going up to turn one at full speed. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna learn some technicalities as well, how to do restarts, starts. Uh, they're gonna throw some flags at us to see if we kind of, you know, know what we're doing. And that's all just kind of part of the prerequisite for the SCCA licensing. So uh, super excited to get the day started here at Circuit of the Americas. Let's get right to it. Another day started from the classroom as we dug deeper into more fundamentals of racing. On this final morning classroom session, we focused on the art of passing and the different techniques to get a pass done. Before we got into open lapping in the second half of the day, the first half of the day was spent back in the stop box exercises. In the first stop box session, there were two passing areas for us to demonstrate our understanding of the passing line going into a corner. Cones were set up to act as cars to force us out of the racing line in the entry to turns 11 and 12. After the passing exercise, we had two more regular stop box exercises to help fine tune our racing line and to help prep us for the open lapping sessions later in the day. We went back to the classroom to kick off the second half of the day. At the start of our first open lapping session, we would have three practice starts, two double file and one single file. The first one was a little strange, as in actual race conditions. I probably could have shot to the outside and made a pass, but decided just to stay in line and play it safe. On the second start, I rolled out from the pole position and rocketed away from the field up into turn number one. And on the final start, I started from the fourth spot and was able to maintain the position up to turn one. After we were regathered behind the pace car, 
we were waved by one at a time to start our open lapping session. You're carrying really nice speed through here. You're keeping it nice and tidy. Uh, you're keeping it so nice and smooth there. The, the RPMs sound really good. Just nice steady power through the whole corner, doing a really nice job through there. But you're doing a really nice job. Thank you. Good. All right. And here's the other one, right? Yes, I know, Aaron. You know, a solid run for you. Um, through turns 19 and, and 20 both. And you really picked up uh, uh, your speed through 19 and your approach to 20. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing there, my friend. I, it, was, it was gratifying to see. Sweet, thank good, you. Good for you. Oh, man. Yeah. That was awesome. So, I could tell, let's see, where did I have you here? Started at 2.25. You worked your way down to the two. You had a slight lockup. Right? Then you came back at it to get another lockup again, but then you just, I guess you warmed up the tires and you made two work. You're breaking nice and late. Yeah, nice job on the brakes. Good job. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. Nice work. Thank you. Although it felt like the three day school had just begun, it was time for our final open lapping session of the day. I don't know how you did that. Oh, no. <laughs> Manufactured the. Uh, uh, 
All right, guys, that concludes part three of three. We went the whole day without spinning or wrecking, which is fantastic, but also, you know, you're not really sure if you're at that limit or not. And sure, there was some moments that, that you'll see where, you know, I felt the car come out and fixed it and corrected it and kept it going. So uh, it just really comes back to that karting background that I have. But, uh, you know, today was a fantastic day. Just so many awesome people here at Skip Barber. The students were awesome. We got to know and meet a whole lot of awesome people. and. Uh, this facility is just beautiful, it's amazing, a great learning track. So if anybody out there is interested in doing a racing school and looking to you know, further themselves in the racing industry, especially you know, being a driver, even engineers can learn a lot from a school like this. So no matter what background you have, any interest in motorsports, this is, this is the place to be, the three-day school with Skip Barber. And you know, this is not Formula Cars with Skip Barber, it's a lot of uh, you know, GT cars, they got great Mustang GT cars. Um, they do driving or yeah, driving schools for you know if you're not looking to be a race car driver but you want to improve your skills out on the road, you can do that as well. So it has to be one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, I got to thank a lot of people. Uh, I got to thank Kirk Kuhn uh, for you know helping me get down here. I got to thank Matt Zagaitis. He's been shooting the video all weekend long, hustling and bustling. Follow him out on the social medias, Global Force Kart Sport. You know what to do. Give the man a follow. He worked hard this week. Um, Got to thank the whole Skip Barber crew. Got to thank uh, you know all the traditional sponsors that kind of led me to this point. Margate Racing, uh, what's that like? Podcast. You know, there's been a lot of fantastic people behind me, you know, over these past couple years. And like I said in the season recap, the the final slide said this may be the end of this chapter, but we're not we're not done writing the book. This is you know just the beginning. So. Uh, really looking forward to seeing where life takes me from this point. You know, we're working on a lot behind the scenes, trying to do whatever we can to, to keep racing, and that's for sure something that I want to do. Uh, and that just confirmed it here at Circuit of the Americas. So, uh, once again, thanks to all of you guys for watching along with this three-part series and all the other videos that come, came along with this trip. Uh, just super awesome. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Uh, what you doing? Go ahead and go down there, click the subscribe button, and follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that's ATA Network. So, once again, one final thank you to everybody that's, you know, gotten me to this point. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.